smokes. Whoop, got it. All right, let's go catch some bigger fish. Welcome back to another episode of Bank Bowls putting in our first pole of our second trip this year and we got a little more water so we got some more optimism for for catching some big old flathead we got some good bait we got some great weather uh, we got a front coming in maybe tomorrow so we should be off the river before that happens but thanks for watching we'll see what we can catch for you size bluegill. So these we hook pretty similarly to the bullheads right in front of that top fin when they stop squirming. <laughs> They're all g-juiced up. They're g-juiced up. Right in front. Usually I try to go a little bit deeper on these but not too deep. And then make sure your hook point is not covered. And then for the bluegill, we've learned to go to put some sort of a bait stop on the other side. We use just little chunks of plastic worm. But again, make sure your hook point is open. Oh yeah, and sharp. There we go. So here's the benefit to a, a tiny little John boat like I have. And the entire reason I have it is we have we have came up into yeah i'm getting a pull in my face here <laughs> so we've came up into this tiny little i guess you call it nook i got uh, logs on top of me and uh right along the boat here like spencer any other friday night <laughs> spencer's uh surrounded by wood up front like, like any, any other, other friday, friday night, night. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we had to slide in under these roots. We had to bulldoze a couple, but look at this. This is like flathead heaven through here. I mean, you got this giant log jam and uh, just this tiny little space to get into. So you're not doing that in just any boat. In fact, most of the boats that people put on these, these rivers aren't doing this, but this one can. All right, this is our last set for the night. We got uh, 10 poles set out again, just Brent and I fishing. A good mix of bullhead and bluegill. I can't say a good mix. I wish they were all 10 bullhead, but. Sometimes those bullies are hard to get. So we've got four poles sitting out with the bullhead, six, with these bluegill at least these bluegill are a lively and b they're all pretty good size you know i've got about a nine and a half inch spread between fingertip to fingertip you know those are about probably nine inch so this is our last one for the night pretty lively piranha Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Big old hook on there too. Okay. Yeah. We got a good spot. Uh, this is the spot we set last time. We caught the beautiful, smaller, but a beautiful dark flathead. So uh, we know it's a good spot. It's got good depth. It's got backflow. It's got everything we want, including one of our bank holes. 
So here we go. We're set. We're going to get back to the ramp. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's kind of like Christmas morning. We are back out. It's early. Let's go see what we got hanging. All right, we're at pole number five in uh, the tightest spot we had, and there's a small little flathead on here. Perfect hook set. <laughs> All right. Whoa! Let's go let him go back down a little bit. Splashy, splashy. Oh yeah, that's a pretty little fish. Yeah, good little fishy, yep. There we go, nice little flatty. Not the size we're looking for, but man, it's another beautiful color pattern on it. I really enjoy just looking at these and appreciating the fish for what they are. I don't, I mean, we like the big fish, but uh, size doesn't matter, always. Yeah, that's a cool fish. What do you think? 60, 70 pounds? Yeah. Ah! Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to let him go back in. God, look at that cool. Just the, I love that camel on him. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, buddy. See what we got. Coming in hot. Yeah, you are. Yeah. All right. Ooh, it's got some weight to it. Does it? Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> there's a boil. Oh, that looks like a nice fish. Holy smokes. We're gonna take it on water, Jim. Oh She's yeah, a that's a big one. Yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's what we're looking for. That right there is what we are looking for. Oh man. Woo! Oh, boy, that gets the adrenaline going a little bit. Yes, it does. Wow. Good hook set. Look at that hook set. <sighs> All right. We just caught this nice, beautiful fish on our uh, KO bank full sixth set of the, of the morning. We caught one other small fish, so we we're real happy to catch this one. Just a beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Um, it's been out of the water for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and let it go. It looks like it was caught on a bullhead. We kind of lost track of what bait we were running but there's no bait stopper that we use on the bluegills. Typically those stay on the hook. So uh, I think this was a bullhead and it's a damn good thing it was because yeah. it got this butte, but we're gonna get it back in the water. Yeah. CPR, baby. No weights, we're not weight chasers. So we're gonna yep. just we enjoy get in the, the water. It's, go. Yeah, beautiful fish. We don't, we don't necessarily have to have a weight to, to validate our fishing, so. Here it goes. Beautiful fish caught on our KO bank poles. Love it. Back in the water. Whoa. I didn't make for a very good video. It was ready to go. <laughs> Slimed up, baby. All right, last pull. And we got a what feels like a smaller flathead. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah. I think you were saying you needed a shower, right? I, yeah, I mean, I took one this morning, but. Never a bad day for a river shower. That's a good one. I'd show you if he'd stop fighting me. That's its job though. Well, it's kind of gray, you know, the color of that is a little bit different. Yeah, like bluish a little bit. Yeah, kind of a blue gray, less yellows and browns. It's a good fish though. Hey, that's a beaut. 
that's a good way to end the run. Still not as big as we would like, but the Hager's can't be choosers, and man, I just love catching these fish. They're such cool fish. Okay, say bye-bye. <laughs>